If you are here about the taxes, tell the queen. Oh, you are not the tax collector. What business brings you to my meal? Okay. If you go around asking just anyone in Queen's Birth personal questions, maybe you end up dead in a ditch. Have caution, eh? Lucky for you, I am a woman of honor. I direct luminous milling for the Valian Trading Company. It's a nice job, eh? And I'm quite good at it. You want to know more? Buy me a drink first, per guano. We mill luminous, of course. Take big chunks, break into smaller chunks, crush into dust-sized chunks. Per complanquenet, it is really not so complicated. Good day. You'd be better off mooning after someone with half a fault between her ears, lass. You can't dictate what the heart wants, Seraphin. Thought you of all people would know that. Well, the heart can be a right stupid git sometimes. It don't always deserve your listening. on your mind? They're there in my head when I sleep. And sometimes I can taste them on the back of my... My folks... You might say they're not your typical Aethasians. Sure, they cling to the light more than the darkness. But the war, it touched my family. And it changed them. Killed some. Not that I remember firsthand. The others toughened, turned survivors. That much I saw with my own eyes, even years later. Of course, though we're few and spread out, most don't keep to temples. Soul shepherding requires travel.
My aunt's the one who taught me about the cycle of life and death. How everything happens in stages. Whether forwards or backwards, from seed to rot to rebirth again, it's all just that's how I first learned about the slice of gone within Aethys. After that, I read all the doctrines of gone, anything and everything I could get my hands on. The Twelve Books of Nearwith, plus the Epistles from the Minor Prophets. A lot of them aren't a part of today's canonization, but that doesn't mean they're wrong. for the youngest born to take up the priesthood of Aethys. Well, I did it in my own way. No need to fiddle foot around. I'm listening. My fuck at the war, the others toughened. Doesn't it, though? Whether forwards or backwards, from seed to that's how I after that, I read all. No need to fiddle foot. I'm glad we talked. Ahoy. Ahoy, Captain. Truth be told, Ferrante half expects us to get our asses blown out of the water at Fort Deadlight. Fortunately for you, I have this bad habgore, so I do that by way of good old traditional chicanery. And the most important part of any Orn swoggle? Solid planning. Well, uh, that and surviving. Valian made originally. Piled them stones up a few centuries back, but gave it up when the fishmen wouldn't leave them be. Hard to defend against Wilder crawling up out of your crappers. Captain Aldees claimed it a few years back. Fucking filthy from bow to stern. And she had her lads and lasses cleaning fish shit out of the floorboards for months. A couple of them thought he might be better sailing elsewhere and left in the night. Aldees tracked them down quick as you like, took their heads, and fixed them into little lanterns for the front gate. Called them Fort Deadlights, Deadlights. They say she ain't had a deserter since. Uh, tad cruel for my taste. But I admit to admiring the wordplay. Funny thing about it being a fort means it ain't a boat. Means I don't have to worry about the way the cannons are storing onkin' big balls. Guns they got crowned in that castle put a hole in your poop deck before you've sighted land. Fort itself be floor to sealing rum sodden fools, so that be going for us. But Aldis keeps the crew on the walls sharp and sober. One blast of their horns and deadlights locked up tight as an adhering muggernaut. We'll stay that way, too, till any unfamiliar ships have been shot to shit and shot again. Funny thing about it being a fort means it ain't a boat. Means it don't have to worry about the fort itself be floored to sea. One blast of their horns and deadlights locked up. Eh, she's sharp as shit, that one. Tongue, mind, and ears alike. Sail that a deer would or a deer one. Those are not, and how to crew a ship that won't turn sour. The words ring out among the Principi. More than you'd think for new blood. Part of that's a fierce support of freedom. From slavers, from the empires, from the Juana's caste system, even.
Best to lean your hand. Step out of line and Ferrante's got your old crew up for lashes. Of this, though, she's, uh... Now, let's say there's a reason she attracts limp-cocked nut-twists like Benwith. Can't say I much approve of a lack of regard for our traditions, but, uh... Can't say I don't share a vexations with Ferrante in the old garden, either. Ah, the Principe's no fleet. More a mishmash of fiercely independent captains. A lot of them take to one another like sharks to krakens. But we be bound by the slippery slipknots of tradition. Even those bucking tradition cooperate for protection against our enemies. Many of the old guard have died off, though. And the new blood flooding in be, uh, less the civil sort. Oh, I did say contacts, didn't I? Contact would be more accurate, in the singular. Alas, by the name of Siri. Been running the same circles for years, doldrums and fair winds. We're never family, but uh, never on the wrong ends of arms, neither. Might have uh, shaken the sheets a few months back. Are you saying your helpful contact is actually... Regardless of how she feels about me, there's no love lost betwixt her and Benwith. That's for damn certain. Oh, random? What do you take me for, Captain? says you're entirely wrong. And Deadlight's a tough coconut to crack. But if not cracking, what are nuts for? Smart play for crashing any party involves scavenging yourself up an invite and then dressing to impress. No, Captain, they did not. Looking the part in this case means hoisting colours identifying us as Principe. Don't have to tell you how dangerous such a bit of fabric can be if the wrong person catches you flying it. Uh, swapping cannonballs with my fellow Principe ain't my favourite idea you've ever had. But do what you have to do, Captain. Might be tricky to not damage the flag in battle, or sink the ship on accident. Deadlight's a tough coconut to crack, but if not cracking, might be there's a way to sneak inside. Bet we can find a shady spot to tie up a skiff under the veil of night. Then up the walls and over, quick as you please. Sussing out a place to land without being spotted ourselves require Helia's own eyes. Or a spyglass. You've uh, got a spyglass, I hope. Oh, then let me recommend you remedy yourself there, Captain. A good spyglass, be like a good lover. Shows you the bits you'd have missed otherwise. <laughs> Guess I've never had a good, uh, spyglass. Yeah, sure, used to. Then I made the mistake of lending it to Ferrante. Apparently forgot it weren't his. Mm. 
showed him the S I carved into it, and he turned around and told me it stood for spyglass. There's an important lesson to be learned there. You take something to see, you hold grip on it real tight. Captain. Well, you be asking me for a plan. <laughs> Frankly, I were curious to witness how the famed Watcher of Cad knew it. But since you asked, just give me a tick. The vast. I might have pulled the plan out of this hairy blue ass after all. If ever an image inspired confidence. The way I see it, we have an option or two ranging from the wildly dangerous to the fantastically suicidal. So tell you me, Cap, what be your preferred approach to problems unapproachable? It might be there's a way to sneak inside. Bet we can find a shady spot to tie up a skiff, sussing out. Yeah, sure, used to. Showed him the S I carved into it, and he turned around. Uh, deadlights. Yeah, if you insist on a straightforward approach, you could always load the old with powder and balls and hope the walls of deadlight give before your hull. Here's hoping you've practiced your breaststroke, savvy. If you breach the walls, you've still got the guards to attend to. Adding to that, a mess of pirates in multitudinous states of insobriety. And probably dress. Well, if you're looking for a challenge, maybe we just get a catapult and send you over the wall. Saves repairing the ship again. That ain't the worst idea I've heard in the last few minutes, Cap. I'm all ears, Cap. Later, sure. You must gather your... Venturing forth. Sure. You must gather your party before venturing. Consider it done. Shh. Keep your feet.
This calls for a subtle touch. I'll see what I can I find. I see where you're going with that. There. What did I tell you? I got it. I got this. am I thinking of now? Uh, you be thinking of the watcher. That's ten in a row. That's some talent you got. Aye, oh, yeah. the talent of noticing who you be glancing at before you ask me who you be thinking of. I don't have a voice for shanties these days. Too much salt. Enjoy a coin, my friend? Can you my lift the sword? soul is from the tedious bureaucracy. Ado, my friend. I knew our paths would cross eventually. Not one of the courtesans. Tell me, you are the one who sails that fine ship, Huck? Terrorize the docks with spirits, Huck? <laughs> I am Aboko, and I am positioned to offer. Uh, I have opportunities for. Sometimes I practice my speech. Mera, never did it go this poorly. Agressiva, do you know what my problem is, Aimiko? I am supposed to be in the business of giving bounties, but I know no one who hunts them. No one will unfurl their sail for my humble payments. But I must start from the bottom and work my way to the top, Huck. Eh? Agrasima, my friend. If you are ever lacking in drinking money, you know where to look. It is true that I have stumbled in my career path. Having no hunters to my name, I am forced to doff my cap to common killers. It's not all bad, but the momentum of meeting new clients over drinks and in such enchanting company, it drains the stamina, my friend. You... you will take the job? You will take the job. Agrasima. Something special for my first hunter, then. Ah, I will start you on Meriel, the mad animancer. She tortures her victims with unspeakable treatments before casting what's left to Bereth's will. 
My contacts saw her leaving Port Magia and heading west of Magia Island. Agrasipa, you have but to ask. You say I cannot down the rest? <laughs> Watch me, I Nico. Madiko, it is no wonder I thirst. Why do you stare? A grassima. Even in the oasis I am parched. If you grant wishes, there is a vacancy on my ship. 